Hello, I'm John Sicardi. Today I'm going to talk to you about Pi's multifunction calibrator line. We have five different models in this family. The first one is a temperature calibrator. This is the Pi 525B. Uh, it's a combination of our Pi 311 RTD calibrator and our Pi 422 thermocouple calibrator. The unit can source and read thermocouples, millivolts, RTDs, and resistance. If you've seen the other videos, you'll know that Pi has a patent on RTD wire detection. That's included in this model, along with our highly stable uh, code junction design in the 422. The other feature that the 525B has that's not found in a lot of other calibrators is you can look at the excitation current between your RTD transmitter and your RTD sensor. This allows the technician to troubleshoot problems between those two devices. The next calibrator in the line is the Pi-820. The Pi-820 is our entry-level multifunction calibrator. It sources and reads current, voltage, thermocouples, RTDs, resistance, and also frequency. The next calibrators in the line are the 820 Elite and the Pi-850. These two calibrators are higher accuracy versions of the 820. They also have a couple different functions. Both can source pH, and they can also uh, source and read pressure. Pressure is uh, done by using this external connection here to one of our 32 external pressure modules and a variety of different hand pumps. The units also incorporate some of our other features that help troubleshooting, such as our patented current leak detection, our loop scope diagnostics, which will tell you current, voltage, and resistance on the loop, and also our patented wire detection for RTDs. The 850 model is different as it also supports older 10 to 50 milliamp loops, which are still used in some older power plants. The fifth calibrator in this series is the Pi 830. The Pi 830 has all the same functions and features as the 820 Elite and, and the 850. However, it's a two-channel calibrator. The benefit of having a two-channel calibrator is you have less equipment needed for a calibration of a transmitter. You can set channel one to source, say, a thermocouple signal into a thermocouple transmitter, and then look at the output of the transmitter on channel two, and to see if it's driving the correct 4 to 20 milliamp signal. The 830 also has one other feature that I don't think any other handheld calibrators have. It's able to be set up as a transmitter. What we'll do in the next minute or two is I'll show you a demonstration of how this would be done. Why would you want to set up the 830 as a transmitter? Simply to save money and to save time. Why replace a good transmitter when you can test and make sure it's working properly or not functioning properly with an 830? So this is our current leak detection demonstration kit and we'll be using it to show the feature of the transmitter function on the Pi 830. First, a quick uh, discussion of the kit itself. We'll turn the kit on. What we have here is a process loop uh, with an RTD transmitter controlling it. We have an RTD input from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. We'll use our Pi 334 Plus to power the loop. We simply put it into power measure mode. And over here we have a display that indicates what the output of the RTD transmitter is. So at uh, zero degrees input from our sensor, we're running at about four milliamps. And when we change the input to 100 degrees C to RTD transmitter, the output of the transmitter is 20 milliamps. What we'll basically be doing is taking the Pi 830, setting it up as the transmitter, and then we'll take this one out of the circuit. And again, the objective here is to be able to tell if you have a good transmitter without totally disconnecting it from your loop, putting in a new one. Instead, use the Pi 830 to tell you that. So first, we'll turn on our Pi 830. We'll put it into read mode. And we'll get into the menus by double-clipping the speed dial here. We'll set the function to RTD, units to degrees Celsius. The RTD type is set to a PT100. 
The mode here is where we'll set the transmitter mode. We'll turn that on. And the other thing we'll do is we'll make sure that the auto off function is turned off. This way, if you walk away from this when it's running the loop, it'll continue to stay on and the calibrator won't power itself off. In this mode, you might have up to an hour of operation of your loop using our calibrator while you're getting a new transmitter to replace it or doing other troubleshooting functions. Next, I'll be hooking up the RTD input into the calibrator. This is a three-wire RTD. And next, we'll be bringing power from the loop into the 830 transmitter. So basically now, once we switch this here, we'll be taking the transmitter that's in our demonstration case out of the loop, and we'll put, be putting the Pi 830 transmitter into the loop. And what you can see now is at an input of 100 degrees from our RTD sensor, we have an output of 20 milliamps from our Pi 830 transmitter. When the temperature goes down to zero degrees, you'll see that now the Pi 830 transmitter displays zero degrees and its output has changed to four milliamps accordingly. So basically now this process loop is running with the 830 as its transmitter. That's how easy it is to set up the Pi 830 in a transmitter mode.